Okay, um, I'm going to be making this video as a Shannon Rose fan, and I don't normally um, make videos about YouTubers. Well, I have before supporting other YouTubers, but really, um, I just watched her video called I Messed Up, and I've also watched her previous video, People Hate Me. And I understand what it feels like to have people just judging you constantly and telling you you're doing this and that wrong. And because of the things I've been through, the hardships, and because of the hardships that Shannon's been through in her life, the way that people like us deal with all of this constructive criticism, all of this negative energy, is that we feel hurt by it, obviously, and we're not going to be as confident when we're speaking. We can't be like, oh, okay, I will do this in order to improve. So in this video, her mannerisms are more like timid, and she's like, I will do this, I'll do my best. Like, she's speaking like that, not because she's trying to be the victim, but because how is someone as, like, empathetic, as sensitive as her? And sensitivity doesn't mean weakness, it means, like... She always seems understanding of the other per person's perspective. So that makes her like an empathetic person. So if all of this strong negative energy is coming from all of her viewers, not all because, um, you know, there's also positive fans. Like I always want to send positivity to people like her who only seem like they're doing good and then all these people just sending her negativity like almost for no reason. It just sounds too harsh in my opinion. But um, yeah, so how is she going to handle all that negativity and remain her confident, bubbly self? You know, it's like you guys are asking for too much. She's made this video because you guys have been asking for so much and she's trying to better herself. And then she explains why she was being the way she was and then she was, she was worried that that would come off as being defensive. But really, like, she's allowed a chance to explain herself, you know. And you can't be, you can't be sitting on your lazy ass watching this YouTuber who works on YouTube, which is a real job, for money, and she genuinely cares and puts herself out there, sharing her most traumatic experiences, her most exciting stories, like, all of these things. Of course she would have some kind of emotional connection with the fans for real. And then you repay her by just sitting in your ass in front of your screen and judging her every move. Even when she's being honest, trying her best to fix the issue, you're just not trusting her. I mean, I feel like this is a huge problem with the people of youth today. Not just youth actually, like everyone. It's like... Sometimes I understand we all have trust issues to some point. You can't trust everyone, especially if they're just someone from the other side of the world on YouTube, right? But think about it. You're being selfish if you're only thinking, oh, I can't trust her. I can't trust her because of my trust issues. And you're just going like, and she's, she's apologizing. You're like, ugh. Oh, oh. Like, every move she's making, you're like, nope, I'm going to write this about her. You shouldn't be like this. Hmm. Oh, oh, she did that. Okay, you shouldn't be like this. Maybe you should be more like this. It's like, shut the fuck up. Like, I see all these comments and it's like, it's like, everyone's asking for so much, so much, so much. It's like, shut up. Are you even her fans? Like, would you want, if you were going through a hard time and you just wanted to make the issue better, and you confronted your family member, like, I'm sorry about this, blah, 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 blah. Like, that's because you're a good person. If you confronted them, like, okay, you know how you did this to me? Well, how about we did it like this? Like, okay, maybe that's what her viewers think is the right thing for her to act like. But actually, her acting like that would mean she isn't as empathetic. But she genuinely wants to do her best for the fans, yeah. So, why the constant distrusting 
what is this a word? Um, like you're just not believing what she's saying. It's like I'm just being honest. I think blah 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 blah. Shut up. And it's like, why did you even join Patreon? She already explained everything. Like, how is she going to deal realistically? How is anybody going to deal with all of these constructive criticisms? How about if you're a real fan, you would have known. I mean, how about you watch all her videos and you would have most of your questions answered by the, by the things she already has explained in her previous videos. Patreon, she has said that since YouTube is demonetizing YouTube, uh, YouTubers with explicit content now, um, well, they make a Patreon where they make, they can upload those kinds of contents. And um, what's so bad about having a Patreon? I mean, come on, you Americans, like Americans, like you get so easily offended about every little thing, and then you're turning it against this YouTuber. And also saying that she should get a real job. It's like, what are you talking? YouTube is a real job. How do you guys not get that? Like, it's 2017. You don't have to be working, like, labor-like work in order to make money. And also, like, she's worked for every bit of money she has. And it's like, you guys are demonizing her. <laughs> Demonetizing? Demonizing, you know? For being rich. Like what? And then she she makes a joke in her normal, usual, funny Shannon-like way, and she's like, "I'm not even that rich. I ha I've had a suitcase for eight years." And then I see a comment m mocking her for saying that, going like, "Oh, that makes her so relatable now." And then other people are like, "I don't even own a suitcase." Lol. It's like, what the fuck? I don't care if you don't own a suitcase. The reason she said that is to like hu be humble because that's c the kind of person she is. How can you take something like that and then turn it against her? Like every little thing she says, it makes me like, like this is what it means to lose faith in humanity. Like she isn't the one who's in the wrong right now. I just can't stand like injustice that just sounds really un like uneducated, irrational. And fucking retarded. Like, that's how a lot of people sound here. Like, oh, wow, I sound mean, but really. Like, you guys don't know who I am, so it doesn't matter if I say this. But really, like, um, I will stand up for people like her. Like, sh she didn't do anything wrong. And I see all these comments, and it's like, what the fuck? So if I don't say this, then who will? You know? Oh, yeah. Ha. <laughs> yeah, this was my comment on her video. I seriously don't know why people are hating on her so much. She doesn't deserve it. I read through the comments, and apparently, because of her numerous hospital videos, people started treating her badly. She went through a difficult time. Like, seriously, I read some of the comments, and it's like, she had a miscarriage. And she started uploading a lot of these hospital videos. And I understand that it may hinder, hinder, some of her like views for a while because you know hospital after hospital video like on the viewers it might be a bit random suddenly because she used to like post more like fun or like crazy videos so like um i understand that on the viewers parts but at the same time she does not deserve hate for that because for goodness sakes like she went through hell she went through a deeply emotionally like just tragic experience and like oh my gosh it's terrible how people think that she should be able to just laugh about it and, like be her normal self like and I also wrote dear Shannon you don't need to give too much to ungrateful fans who have turned their heads away too soon because they're just ungrateful idiots no I didn't write that but um they are the ones who need to learn to be more sensitive and have perspective. Like, be fair, man. And don't stop promoting yourself because I think it's cool when you do. I think it's also bullshit when people are saying, Don't promote yourself so much. Ooh, it's like, what? It's like a five-second video, like, short clip before every video. 
and that that's that's nothing too in your face for me i mean it's just fine like it's better than those like 30 second freaking youtube ads that won't you, let you skip them what like i think it's funny i think it's cool i don't mind it so i think people are just being too cocky and self-righteous like oh i deserve this i deserve so much more from you youtuber uh, who does everything for her fans, but I don't care. I need more, because I'm a spoiled bitch whore. Nah, <laughs> just trying to rhyme. Um, if you if you want to lessen it, this is what I told her, if you want to lessen your promotions, perhaps do so in order to calm the freaking, the demanding audience down. But don't sell or cut yourself short for the sake of stupid people. Lol, I respect you are a YouTuber, and people sound retarded when they say, you should get a real job. Because YouTube is a real job. Keep your YouTube going strong. If haters come at your ass for it, your real fans will come set them straight. Yes. Um, what do you call it? Um, 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 um. Those who are saying that she isn't her real self anymore. Like, um, even though I can see what you mean by that, it just sounds mean once again. Like, it just, the comments sound mean and ruth ruthless and um they just sound like they come from a, this generation of spoilt self-entitled ignorant idiot kids and i see like comments of these people who look like i mean who sound like they're like 15 year old spoiled ass kids and they're like giving herself a constructive criticism I'm like do you know how cocky you sound right now like constructive criticism come on she is a lady she is married she is like um working and she's got her life sorted and you're giving her constructive life advice like come on if you have something to say say it but, like, you don't have to make it sound all like, oh, do this, do that, you're being like this, oh, you have to be like that, blah, blah. Like, she isn't even immature. Like, the way she talks, if if you, especially if you're a fan, you've been following her, watching her videos, like, that's her humor. Like, she's funny, but maybe the reason she can't be as Shannon-like as she was in the past is because you guys keep coming at her ass for everything she does. So now she, she's naturally, psychologically, like, acting more, like, timid. And that's because of you. It's not because she's being fake, like, the fame's gone to her head. Maybe your mean words has gone to her heart, you know? Maybe that's the truth, okay? Maybe you guys need to chill out, back off, give her more love rather than hate. Because, come on, like... How's somebody going to improve from a pit that you've pushed them down into and that they've also fallen into due to their own personal issues? If you're just going to constantly push her down, you should, like, give her love, encourage her and uplift her, like, ta-da! And then she can finally be free again, you know? I think it's really unfair. I also read another comment going, like, if you take a break now, um, people will forget you. Well, they didn't actually say that. They said, you don't know how quickly people forget things or something. Well, like, once again, you could have put it more nicely because one comment after another giving constructive, savage criticism, it's it actually just sounds mean. It doesn't sound fair at all. Constructive criticism is meant to be fair. You say it kind of harshly, I guess, firmly and honestly, but at the same time, you want to be fair and balance it out at the end of your comment instead of just being like, oh, you should be like this, 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 this. Also, don't be like that. Don't be like this. Just be you. Just be yourself, but don't be like this. What? It doesn't make sense. Maybe the audience should be less spoiled, less demanding, and be more understanding. Okay? Because sensitivity is strength, not weakness. That's what humanity of today needs to know. Um, yeah.
um, yeah, you you don't tell her that she shouldn't take a break because that means people won't be watching her videos anymore, even more, because um, that just shows how much you don't care about her own well-being. It's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the facts are. Right now, she needs to, if she chooses that she needs her own time away from YouTube, that is her choice because that is what she knows is best for herself and all these fans saying rubbish just sound terrible and the few comments that I read that are sending her love I'm like yes this is what we need more of this is the reason I mean these are the kinds of comments that helped her thrive and this is the reason why she could or one of the I think from what the fans have given her I mean but um, the hate has got to go down. Even if you think you're just giving criticism, it's not anymore at this point. It's, it just sounds like hate for me. Yes. Um, thanks for watching and be nice to Shannon. Be nice to everyone. Be nice to YouTubers because you don't know, but they're a real human being. They're probably nicer than you as well. Yeah. Bye.